the ultimate goal of the echo project is the perspective of protecting and lubricating ships by covering them with a layer of air underwater we want to see how our air coat foil behaves on a real large container ship under real maritime conditions. Following the pre-treatment of the hull surface with blasting and high pressure fresh water cleaning, two layers of universal anti-corrosive epoxy primers applied. After allowing the necessary drying time, the air coat foil patch attach on the substrate covering an area of 15 square meter approximately. The application of the aircoid foil was supported by scaffolding infrastructure in order to host the applicator during his job. To secure the adhesion of the foil, a minimum substrate temperature of 15 Celsius degrees was necessary. We reached this minimum temperature with the aid of three heaters of 15 kilowatt capacity each, blowing hot air during the whole installation together with a tent sealed around the area in order to keep the warm conditions. The inspiration for our air coating technology which we developed here in Karlsruhe, came from a plant. The floating water fern Sylvinia molester, which has fascinating properties. When we drown the leaves underwater, they keep a permanent layer of air underwater. The leaves can breathe underwater. In our artificial foils, we use tiny, specially designed pillars to perform the same task. For the aircoat foil, we chose to have a faunen uh, lease coating. A faunen lease coating is an anti-fouling coating without the biocides. The binder is a polysiloxane. It's a very, very flexible binding, binder, and it gives the properties to the coating itself. So it's very, very hydrophobic, and it is very flexible. So that means that if founding will grow to the surface of a faunen lease coating, it will be easily washed off when the vessel is sailing or when it's too heavy, it uh, slides off pretty easily. For the application of the foil, we use our standard Simaglide 1290. There's a little difference in the manufacturing process at Evidensen and a real life application in the yard. In the yard, you apply at room temperature. In the manufacturing process at Evidensen, the, uh, the foil will go through an oven, which is about 120 degrees Celsius and therefore we had to tweak the formulation a little bit to adopt that fast curing time. Key difference is the uh, pillar structure. This very fine pillar uh, structure allows the uh, creation of a air layer at the top of um, the foil and uh, this is really the unique feature of our system compared to the standard anti fouling system in the market. For the echo foil, we had to duplicate very tiny structure and to do that, we had to adapt our processes. We adjusted the oven settings, machine speed, temperatures, such that we were able to produce the echo foil. A number of stripes of the film attached to the hull, one next to the other, shaping a well-formed air coat patch. After that, we sealed the edges applying the proper edge sealing system and conclude with the installation. Now, to monitor the foil in service, a couple of underwater inspections are scheduled to spot for any air layer or check for marine growth or any possible damage to the foil. All data captured from installation, production and inspections will be very useful to assess the prototype against a number of performance criteria, such as time and cost of the installation of the code, waste produced or utilization of resources during the application, durability and adhesion of the foil in service, anti-fouling properties and, of course, air retention. The only critical challenge had to do with the cold wind in Romania where the dry dock took place and the low temperature by that time that was kind of risky for the progression of the adhesion of the foil. The large-scale experiments were many square meters of air retaining foil are mounted in a flow channel and exposed to realistic flow conditions. These experiments help us to further develop and improve the air coat foil and to learn how it behaves under practical conditions, especially at higher velocities, a key for performing the step from the lab to the ship. The experiments are still ongoing, but our recent experiments show air layer stability even under the harsh testing conditions of the large flow channel at the HSVA testing facility. And now we're looking forward to our container ship starting its long way over the seas.